here's part of that pipe. This is the pipe the thing was leaning on. Oh, yeah. It was laid up there in the woods, right back there where them white flowers are. Yep. But that's 88 inch pipe right there. There's more of it. But to go down and check the mail, I had the dogs with me. And it's about an eighth of a mile down the road to the mailbox. And me and the dogs, we took off walking. And uh, all of a sudden I turned around, I got the mail, I started walking back up. Well, my horse is out there going nuts through the deep snow. I thought, what the heck is your deal? Go back to the barn, you know, mm. you dummy. And he's jumping around and causing chaos. And uh, wow, he, uh, I started walking up while well, the trees narrow down before it turns into a curve and goes up to the house where the yard light's at. Well, he took off, and I thought I was getting closer to them woods and the dogs weren't around. I couldn't figure out why. Well, then, at that time, something come, like, charging through the woods. You could hear boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Trees breaking and everything. We'll go this way. And, uh, I stopped, you know, because it got me scared, you know. I'm eight, not almost nine years old. Yeah. Kind of freaking me out. I said, I yelled, I said, Diamond, I said, knock it off. I said, you're scared. And just at that time and I'm standing from here to that tree was our fence line and behind me about where that pipe is at was the other side of the road coming into the yard something was right there I couldn't see it it was dark and it just gave me this nervous scary feel and I and I was like diamond you know because I thought it was a horse it was just my mind thinking yeah he's clear across the yard kicking at the gate neighing trying to get to me he jumped the fence it's the first time and only time i've ever seen him jump a fence really came running to me and then the instinct thought you know wow it's time to fly yeah i ran to the house as fast as i could diamonds out he's running down there back and forth and stomping at the ground and kicking and i've never seen him act like that before yeah and i ran into the house and i grabbed my shotgun oh, dad and my brother were uh, going, asking me, what are you doing? Where are you going with that gun? I said, there's something out here. Mm -hmm. Well, I ran out the door. He says, hold on a minute. Don't be shooting. Don't. I'm just going to fire in the air, I said. And I yeah. took that shotgun. I went, boom. And you could hear whatever it was. And uh, Dad and Kenny were behind me then at that time. And I seen out of the corner of my eye, I'm like looking at the woods like this. And they're like right here. And I seen my brother go like that to dad. Mm. And they both nodded their heads and yeah. shook, yeah. Yep. So they knew about it. They just didn't want you to know about me it. to know about it right. as young as I am, you know. Sure. Wow. But, uh, it was, uh, hmm. it, that's always stayed in my mind my whole life. Yeah. And I remember this tree because there's these briars and stuff is a lot thicker because everything was grown up. That thing jumped out of there, come this way and turn because Stevie was there and just bowling over. You can see some of the trees are still laying down over there. Wow. And it went, like I said, about 150 yards. We couldn't see anymore. Mm -hmm. And we jumped down here. Like I said, I curled up in a fetal position. That thing was three, three and a half feet bigger than that's, I was. Yeah, that's, wow. And, you, know, you think, it was, you think it was sleeping? Huh? You think it was sleeping? I'm thinking he was. Yeah. You know, and I just happened to startle him because I already walked right by. Yeah. He had to have seen me all the way through that side. Cause right. Was, I was walking, there's another four-wheel trail. And I oh. was thinking we could put the, instead of trying to chop down trees here to get on the trail to go up. Oh, uh, right. We can go through here. Hmm. And uh, I'd already been, I'm in between these two trees right there. And that's when I seen it out of the corner of my eye. It jumped up, went up this way, and must have seen him standing here. Yeah. And took off that way. And then the, when that guttural roar, like I said, we're standing there, both yeah. of us, after all this. And I showed him the footprint and everything, and we're talking about it. And being a skeptic, you know, I'm full of <laughs> shit. You know? And when that 
roar. Yeah. You could feel it on your chest and your neck. It just vibrated your body. And his eyes were about that big, you know. And sure. first words, where's my wife? Yeah. You know, she went up the mountain. Oh, jeez. But, you know, we didn't know what yeah. What was going to happen, you know. Did he turn around and try to chase us off? Did he, you know, did we interrupt something? Right. Is it going to circle back, you know? Yeah. Wow. We didn't know what the heck was going to happen. That's crazy. That's an awesome encounter. But for as big as it was, I know it was bigger than me. Mm hmm You know, and I'm almost 6'5", just at under 6'5". Yeah, you're a big You know, guy. then I was about 340 pounds. Wow. I'm under 300 now. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I wasn't a little fella. Right. And for me to curl up and still be three, three and a half feet wider than me. Mm. And then the footprint was right by this tree. Oop. Coming up and out of here is in the side of the bank. There's a bunch of long grown grass here. You can see the grass and stuff. Yeah. It was really tall then because it was dry. This creek was maybe a foot wide. Okay. Maybe two, three inches deep and it was just trickling through here. Right. And because uh, one flows one way and the other one flows the other way. This is part of Flat Swamp Creek. Okay. And uh, when I said, hey, look at that. And I remember Stevie tripping over that <laughs> when he went to look. So I put my hand up. You know, what is it? I said, it's a footprint. Ah, that's a bear print right there, you know. And when I pulled that grass back for where it trampled it down, you could see perfect toes. Yeah. And foot and heel. Oh, neat. Nice. And, you know, me, I don't <laughs> try to take castings or nothing. I know they're out here. Yeah. You know. Right, sure. And uh, they're everywhere, for that matter. They just don't want to be bothered with, you know. Yeah. Kind of like the domain of the woods, mm -hmm. I think, you know, it protector of them, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, wow. you read through the Bible and stuff, you know, of, you know, the giant humans and stuff back in the day. Yeah. You know, how far are we apart? Exactly. Nobody knows. I mean, yeah. I'd like to know. Yeah, for sure. But through different episodes and different sightings and stuff over the years, you know, I'm going on 50 years old now. Yeah. And it's just unbelievable the different areas I've been because I build highways and bridges for a living. Oh, okay. So I'm going into areas like this a lot, yeah. tearing trees down, make the highways and the roadways. There's a lot of stuff I see. Oh, you I know, can imagine. Clearing woods and seeing something move off to the side. And yeah. Kind of look, take a picture. <laughs> blooming up and one of them was just down the road from here I was doing a clearing and it looked like a monkey's face when I blew it up oh really it was sitting between some busted up logs and I was like eh well the next day I thought you know yeah. let's see if it's there again and I got kind of in the same position and looked and it was there again and I took a picture but it was a better picture yeah and then uh, it never moved hmm. third day it wasn't there yeah, so really. I was like, why in the heck would it be there two days in a row? Yeah, same spot. You know, spot. at different times. That's weird. And huh. Yeah, you never know with these things. Everybody that has this area and this property, they said to stay out of that area. Oh, like yeah? The old folks up there where we've seen them trees. Yeah. Said that's their area. Really? So I just uh, basically, hmm. you know, there's something over there. You know, you can kind of feel it if you spend enough time out here. And they do move around, you know, all over. Yeah. You know, right there, that lumber yard by my place right there, mm -hmm. just right over here, just uh, on the other side of this mountain here. Right. Down below, and that lumber yard's right there. And you could hear noises, strange yeah. noises in the middle of the night. Wow. And so I enjoy sitting out at like, you know, 12, 1 o'clock. Uh, it wasn't last night, the night before, it started about 10.30 could hear it inside the house and that, that's at your house yeah yeah which is only through the woods it's about two and a half miles okay how often do you come out to this property this property after uh jackie pass and will pass i haven't been out here and that's been uh six months oh okay so so somewhat recently yeah yeah that's cool but uh you know i've always wanted to come back here and i heard heard about will you know, wanting to build a house up here, and I just couldn't figure it out, but I've been so busy with my work <laughs> schedule. I didn't yeah. Know. I'm glad glad we got you out here, then. Yeah. It's kind of a, a blondish tan. That pipe used to sit right here in the woods. And there's, you know, the trash and stuff was around it. 
I was up there in that corner on that top coming down and it was like out down like this because when I tried to look through the pipe because it was laying this way I couldn't see through the pipe but I could see something when I'd move it kind of go like this you know and just kind of shift its head just a little bit yeah and when I made a few more steps down something else moved right over there just that little ridge hmm something was standing there behind a tree and I just kind of got that creepy feeling I figured well I'll just back up out of here it's almost dark yeah following day me and my son come out here went down that same trail and there was nothing on top of that pipe and nothing through it no nothing blocking it hmm. <laughs> something was there yeah there's my red flag that's where I was gonna put my cabin oh yeah there's, there's <laughs> the other one that's facing over that ridge right there See, this used to be all trees right here. This was this heavy is, thicket right through here. Yeah. That's Why in the heck they build a road right through the middle? I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, that's. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing uh, those encounters. Yeah, no problem.